Hello there. <laughs> Moses spoke to the people in Deuteronomy chapter 4, verses 4 and 5. See, I have taught you decrees and laws as the Lord my God commanded me, so that you may follow them in the land you are entering to take possession of it. Observe them carefully, for this will show your wisdom and understanding to the nations who will hear about all these decrees and say, Surely this great nation is a wise and understanding people. The brilliant Andrew Breitbart said, Politics is downstream of culture, which begs the question, who runs the culture? Well, that would be Hollywood and the mainstream media, of course. What we feed our brains as entertainment is often what manifests in the real world. And We've witnessed that happening more and more in an ever-changing, angry, and hate-filled world. And the culture these days, quite frankly, is going down the toilet. So what can we do about that? Scripture teaches us to take no part in unfruitful works of darkness, but to expose them. I've been in the movie and television business now for 35 years, and I've seen the impacts of both good and bad filmmaking. Walt Disney said storytelling is the way to change the world. Movies can and do have tremendous influence in shaping young lives. Well, his successors and their peers have certainly exemplified this, feverishly creating a new normal while many of us sit idly by and do absolutely nothing. We have a war to fight, and I hate to say it, but right now we are losing that war. Funny thing is, people are very hungry for wholesome content to watch with their families and just for themselves. People want uplifting and inspiring stories. People used to stop me all the time about my series Hercules or Andromeda, but that has shifted. Now when I walk around, people stop me and say, please make more movies. Like, what if God's not dead and let there be light? Let there be light. A $2.3 million movie opened the same weekend that Thor Ragnarok, a $200 million movie opened, and we had virtually no budget to promote Let There Be Light, yet we opened number two in the box office. And the only way that could happen, the only way that could happen is that we would be able to compete with your support and strong word of mouth. Friends, we need your help. We need the church, we need the church body to move to support the culture you desire. Do not hide your light under bushel, but raise it high to lead the nation. We need more principled filmmakers and storytellers who can weave moral fabric back into our culture. We need to compete in the marketplace of influence in a positive way and shout truth from the mountaintops. For too long, Christians have retreated from the culture under the banner and fear of political correctness. We talk a good fight in the comfort of our homes and among the circle of like-minded friends, but we hide when confronted in public. And unfortunately, conservatives and Christians are often disparaged by Hollywood, or worse, they're won over to the darker side of things. We've also been beaten down by the mainstream media, and it is time to stand up and fight back. I am so... I am so sick and tired of hearing about the new normal because there's nothing normal about it. We cannot let them keep rewriting the Constitution and changing the definitions of words. And by the way, you are going to lose your friends when you step into that battle, but I'll tell you what, they never were your friends in the first place. Proclaim the gospel without fear, regardless of consequences. This country was founded on Judeo-Christian principles. Our Constitution, our laws, were forged from the words of the Bible. And whether you like it or not, you've all been drafted into this fight. Why? Because you see the direction this country needs to go, and more importantly, that you care. I want to thank you all for being loyal soldiers for Christ, and I'm so grateful to have you all on board. I am Kevin Sorbo, and I approve this message. God bless. Yeah.